So hello everybody, this is a tutorial on Intel Developer Cloud. So basically, uh, I'll uh, show you how you can train AI models on Intel hardware uh, on the cloud and how to train models and do RAG uh, on uh, Jupyter Lab using um, Intel hardware. So this is the Intel Developer Cloud. So, so to get started, you'll have to sign up at um, uh, this website here. I'll have the links in the description. So um, this is all the hardware they have and these are the subscription tiers. You'll have to get a premium pay-as-you-go subscription to get access to the hardware. You also get access to their uh, AI and machine learning toolkits like One API and OpenVINO. Uh, they're really good if you're running um, AI uh, specifically on Intel hardware. Uh, they are uh, great for optimizing your models on um, the hardware. So you'll have a $500 uh, hold on your account if you're going for premium. Um, or you can go and attend Intel's hackathons and you'll get some credits uh, for using the hackathon. So this is the console, a developer console, it's console.cloud.intel.com, I'll have the link in the description. So here you'll have, be able to manage all of your running uh, virtual machines and uh, tutorials on Jupyter Lab. Um, so as you can see, I've already created a Gaudi2 uh, instance here. So it has 1 TB RAM, 30 TB uh, disk storage and third, uh, third gen Xeon processors. So to launch an instance, you can just, um, uh, all you have to do is click on the launch instance button and um, choose the uh, hardware you'd like. You can choose the uh, types of instances and what operating system you want. Right now, I can only select Ubuntu here uh, on x86, 64. And then you can give the instance name and then you have to create a public key if you don't already have one. So to do that, you can just upload a, a key. So uh, they have a mini tutorial here on how to do it. They have a tutorial for Windows. And uh, so they have a tutorial for Windows and a tutorial for Linux and Mac OS. So all you have to do is uh, follow their tutorial, put a name for the key and paste the um, key contents here and click upload key. So I've already done all of that and I already have the instance. So to connect to the instance, all you have to do is click on the instance name and they have a how to connect tutorial. So all you have to do is copy uh, this command. They have a copy button here which you can click. Uh, of course you have to first select your OS. Uh, I found that I didn't have to do this on my Windows machine, uh, but you might have to do that on other OSs. So what I'm going to do now is just copy this command and paste it in PowerShell. So, yeah, so it'll first ask for the password for your key. So uh, you have to paste the password here. Obviously, I can't share mine. So I've copied my password, uh, and when I paste it with Control Shift V uh, or Control V, you will see that nothing appears here because this is intentionally invisible. So that's not a bug, it's just uh, how it works. So you'll have to enter the password again. And there we go, we are in the SSH. So I'll just clear my screen um, and I'll just do a sudo at update. So that uh, um, refreshes uh, all the uh, available software updates uh, for the uh, operating system, as in that does not install the updates but it takes notes of the latest software that is available to download. So this is just a step when you're installing new software, you might need to do that um, in the um, SSH. So now what you have to do is uh, go back here at home. They have a tutorial. So they have a tutorial for the Gaudi servers here. Uh, virtual machines here so all we have to do is uh, so we have done all of this already so we'll just skip to here 
So we'll just copy this command. This will run the Habana Docker image. So Habana makes the Gaudi um, uh, processors, AI accelerator processors, and paste it here. So this should uh, download the Habana Docker image and uh, do all of that. So this is a link to the um, uh, PyTorch installer and all of that. So that is all handled. Um, uh, so I've already done that and so it just directly launches me to the docker shell. So now all I have to do is copy and paste it here. So this will clone the model references um, github uh, repository. So this is a model references repository. They have a lot of information on running uh, all of these models on um, Gaudi uh, servers, VMs, or even bare metals. Uh, so yeah, if you're interested, you can check that out. So as you can see, it's done uh, cloning slash downloading the repository. So now we can go to the next step. So we are just going to change the directory to their hello world example. And these two lines of code um, uh, set the path to uh, our Python uh, version. So as we can see, it's Python 3.8. So this is the next step. This is for training on a single uh, device, HPU device. Uh, Habana processing unit. So all you have to do is copy that uh, command. Uh, so this will train on a single HPU in uh, float 16 um, uh, format. It's a simple linear regression model. And so we can run that. So I'll just clear the screen here and paste it. So as you can see, it's downloading that model. And now it started training it. And that's it. So this is the uh, training on all the uh, eight uh, Habana processing units. So paste it. And that's it. So they also have steps on how you can use Hugging Face Optimum Habana library um, to uh, run Hugging Face, uh, to train or fine tune Hugging Face models. So I won't be going over that in this video, but if you're interested, you can check the whole tutorial. The link will be in the description. So next, let's check their Jupyter Lab um, uh, tutorial. So all you have to do is uh, we are on the same page here. Uh, go to this, uh, click on this icon, and that'll be their training and workshops page. So if you scroll down here, you can see the LLM fine tuning example, um, LLM uh, inference example, and RAG example with LangChain. So you can check out all of that. So all you have to do is click launch notebook in any of these tabs and it'll launch that. So they have very detailed documentation for all of this code. So if you're interested in going deeper, you can uh, read it uh, in the website itself. Um, and um, yeah. So what we can do is try running this here. So if we just expand this book. So this script will install all of our dependencies. So you can see as uh, uh, the script says here, it is already assuming that the PyTorch and Intel extensions for PyTorch is installed. Uh, Intel extensions for PyTorch makes um, PyTorch models, helps you make PyTorch models run more efficiently on Intel hardware like their GPUs, uh, CPUs, um, and Gaudi processors. So here you can see this command will install Transformers version 4.35.2. Uh, 
um, and so yeah let's just run that to so to run it we'll just click this play button as you can see it says installation in progress so while it does that let's move on to the next command so this script here uh, um, selects the device that we will inference the model on so as you can see there's some logic here to calculate the available devices so you have XPU and CPU CPU will obviously be a uh, Xeon CPU uh, or uh, XPU might be a, a GPU like the Intel Max GPUs or uh, I believe they're Gaudi models also so um, yeah so they have a lot of documentation here and this is a class for um, uh, chatbots for generating prompts so this is all the logic for that you can look deeper into it and they have great documentation here um, so yeah this is the generate output model warm-up and all of that here and this is for setting the uh, um, uh, values of the model like the temperature uh, context size and all of that and that is the interaction function called so it calls that function to uh, inference with the model so let's start running this uh, hopefully it's done it's running yes it is um, so we'll just ignore this error it's just saying that it can't uh, check all the packages that are installed uh, so that is because of this uh, conflict here but uh, this shouldn't be a problem for our um, uh, use so let's just run this just run all of this so as you can see there's a number on the um, uh, index here that means it has finished running if it is a star or asterisk that means it is currently running and if it is empty like this that means it is not running. We we'll run that, so we can see we can choose all of these models. So I'll go with um, Open Llama three B, and um, we we'll interact without context. Temperature I'll increase to point eight, um, and I'll leave everything else as is. Start the interaction. So as you can see here, it's setting up a model. Okay, so it's ready. So basically what it did is download the model and all of that. Um, so let's ask, who are you? Okay, so it says I'm a 25 year old woman who lives in the suburbs of New York City. Okay, so let's move on to another tutorial. So this is a fine tuning tutorial. So in this one, uh, uh, the code will um, uh, uh, train a text to SQL um, um, model. So that will convert our input text and make a SQL uh, query version of that. So I've modified this code a bit to train my own model. I'm still working on it, but the, the tutorial text is still, is still the same. So if you want to check it out for yourself, you can check the uh, notebook uh, from Intel Developer Cloud. So we can just run these again. So as you can see, this is running on Intel uh, data center GPUs. So these are the sort of the code for that. All you have to do is go through this and run all of them. And if you're interested in the actual code itself, you can just check the uh, documentation. As you can see here, all of this code is well documented. So yeah, that's a basic tutorial for fine tuning. And so this is a tutorial for RAG, that's retrieval augmented generation uh, with the help of LangChain. So again, all of this code just like all the other tutorial is very well documented and by now you know how to run all of this 
So uh, we can just try running all of these um, um, boxes. So as you can see, this time I got an error here saying no module named Langchain. So what we have to do here is see this install dependencies thing. You'll have to uncomment all these lines and then run it. So this will install all of our uh, dependencies. So as you can see, that is all done and you can type the query here. You can choose a model. Um, so you can set all the parameters here. And so if you're interested in this, you can look more into this in the Jupyter uh, notebook itself. So yeah, so that's all of this tutorial. Thanks for watching.